I I might rush through this, but I don't have too much time. I gotta get to the field. So, all right, this is a channel about grain carts in large scale harvest, but you know, other topics come up or topics come up which can be transferable to other parts of life. So yesterday the, the question came up or the topic came up of how fast can one load a truck? As you can see what's going on right here, loading a truck. And um, of course the combine driver's talking to me on the radio. So, okay, how fast can one load a truck? Well, it depends on a lot of things, just like everything else in life, every other endeavor in human history. How fast can you solve the Rubik's Cube? Or how fast can you do the super giant downhill ski course? Well, it depends on a lot of things. Preparation, training, equipment. How well do you know your equipment? Uh, how much you've practiced maybe the knowledge of the risks or the costs and the benefits you know for super giant downhill what's the risk well it's pretty simple dying um, for us loading trucks wow it's just spilling grain no big deal yeah grains expensive and we don't want to do that but it's not that big of a risk. But when you think about it in a little bit of a deeper sense, okay, so I spilled grain, what does that mean? Well, maybe there's 30, 40, $50 of grain on the ground, but maybe my leader saw me do it. And maybe, you know, I'm worried that he'll think I'm not good at my job and then maybe he won't sign my paycheck and then maybe I won't be able to pay rent or eat and then maybe I might die. Well, is that extreme? Maybe. Maybe that's extreme. But I don't think it's too far-fetched. Like a lot of the time we function in a state where we're perpetually worried about measuring up and, um, you know, maintaining our, our place in society no matter Am what I we do. Over to so anyways, but, but back to loading trucks, okay. Well, what equipment do you have? What crop do you have? What kind of trailers are you filling? Okay, if you're loading Canadian Super Bs like this, with wheat, there's plenty of room in the trailers for the weight that they're allowed to carry, so the odds of spilling are lower. Right now we're loading canola, which is a lighter commodity, so you gotta have a better plan. So, what I tend to do is start at the front of the trailer, Start filling, full throttle, full gate, if you want to be as fast as you can be. And you gotta have a plan, you know. This tractor has enough power to pull your moderate sized house over the Rocky Mountains, like not even on a road. And um, so power's not an issue. You gotta be able to move along the trailer fast enough so that you don't spill grain. So you roll in here. I'm a little far from the truck, but actually it's pretty good. The other thing is you gotta be parallel to the truck so that when you move beside the truck, you don't get closer or further away. So here you go. I got my truck selected, PTO on, throttle all the way up, gate all the way open. Now I gotta have my plan. You can choose in this tractor, starting from zero, miles an hour from fourth gear and that's how fast you got to be able to move at the truck first gear is not fast enough because that pile comes up quick six six and a half seven seven and a half I gotta start making my plan to move okay I'm in gear she's rolling nine ninety five ten I gotta go ten and a half eleven in the first hopper move forward all the way to the back now I wait again twenty one thousand kg going in the front trailer I can breathe again I'm parallel to the truck. Oh, I gotta go in reverse. And for this tractor, you gotta let out the clutch a bit, let all the sensors have their meeting about whether they're gonna let you back up or not with the P2 
GTO given this much power. Had to shut the gate off. Woo hoo hoo. Had to shut the gate off at 18 and a half thousand kgs. Because <clears throat> another 1500 kgs coming out at the same time. Move trailers quick, throttle down, PTO back on, throttle up, full gate, let her down a bit. Now, well, my scale didn't even reset. We're putting 44,000 kg in this truck. So I'm putting 10 in this hopper. I better be moving at eight and a half. There's eight and a half, move. All the way to the back. All the way. Boom, right there. Go to reverse. Why do you go all the way to the back of the trailer? So that you have a place to go when the pile comes up. So now I wait. I'm going to 44, I'm at 35. The cart's starting to empty out, it slows down. I'm in reverse. You gotta let out the clutch a bit and make sure that you're moving. It actually has to shift and engage. 38, 39, my pile will be coming up. 40, should be seeing a pile for sure. Yes, sir, yes, ma'am. Now it's just kind of moving and finishing off the fill. 42 and a half, 43, better shut the gate. Ooh, almost spilling, there we go. 43, five, that's full enough for this trailer. Ooh, and breathe. 